Erudite is what they have said it is you need to eat like a caveman in the sense and what will happen is you tend to become uh, leaner and there is less chances for diabetes heart disease cancer and all this so in the sense the diet contains too much of high protein very high fiber and which will make you lose weight without cutting the calories so that is what is the paleo diet concept and yes you can eat eggs nuts and all these all up to if i am asked to summarize whatever we are eating so what we can see is eat the nuts seeds healthier oils including olive oil and maybe coconut oil in traces but what are the foods which you have to avoid because we need to understand right now our sedentary life and we are not even farmers so what we have to say we should try to avoid is dairy dairy means the whole dairy thing so for example you can of course always eat the uh, toned milk toned milk means fatless milk it's really good refined sugar avoid it potatoes as well not too much you should eat salt or refined vegetables oils as well refined i would say so you should try to avoid it <laughs> okay and you need to be careful what you are eating so if you really want to someone keeps on talking like what how to do lose weight so i would suggest be careful what you are eating exercise well and plan up your diet well so eat more frequently in lesser amount and i am sure you will see the benefits okay and another important thing is it's not always necessary that the good food is more costly no it's not always like this apples for example they may be costly but no it's not true that apples is the best food fruit there are much cheaper fruits as well which can be in similar or even better nutritious food as well and in a simple basis as i said it try to mix your oils whatever you are eating so that always makes it really nice and as i was telling about the mustard oil i already said it yes it is good for amazing for deep frying but use it in traces but as i said it the problem can be is complete heart block and coronary artery disease can be a little bit risk higher so this summarizes and finishes all my slides i'll be happy to answer any questions do you all have any questions